Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to write a cover letter for a job in computer science. In this YouTube video I will write an example that you can use for various positions in computer science such as web developer, software tester, data scientist, etc. Now once you are finished writing your own version I would advise you to download matching resume and cover letter templates. Click on the link in the description so you will be redirected to a site that provides many professional looking templates. Okay, now before we start, let me first summarize the top 5 most important points of attention. First off, we need to use the appropriate font and font size. Calibri, Arial or Times New Roman with a 10 to 12 point font size is most suitable. I would suggest to not use Nofty style fonts like Comic Sans, Script Style or handwriting fonts. Furthermore, keep a word count of around 300 words and divide the cover letter into 4 paragraphs. Secondly. Do extensive research and know to whom you address your letter to. Do some research on LinkedIn, check the About Us and staff pages, or even consider calling the company to ask for a name. Avoid generic openings like Dear Hiring Manager, Dear Sir or Madam, and you should definitely not use to whom it may concern. Thirdly, thoroughly read the job description and search for keywords that are used multiple times. After that, you match your soft and hard skills to the job requirements. Soft skills in computer science include, for example, problem solving, analytical or critical thinking skills. Hard skills relate to technical know-how, like mastering programming languages or computer hardware engineering. Fourthly, do not simply list your skills and experience like you do in your resume. Instead, provide context in numbers, statistics or awards you've been granted. The experience itself is not sufficient. Highlight the qualifications that your experience gave you. At last, keep your letter short, concise and to the point. In addition, your tone of voice should be confident, courteous and sincere. And make sure to proofread your cover letter after you are done. And use the word spelling check. Alright, that's it for the most important points of attention. If you have any questions so far, leave a comment down below. Now let's start writing the example cover letter, shall we? Now we start off by listing our personal information on the left side. Then we enter the date between white lines underneath, followed by the recruiter's name and company information. As for the salutation, you can write Dear or Greetings Mr. Garcia. For American usage, include a dot after the abbreviation MR. And for British English, you can leave the dot out. In the first paragraph, also called the introduction, you need to start off with expressing your interest for their company and what roles you feel you would thrive in and make sure to drag the reader's attention. You can, for example, mention that you've been referred to by a mutual connection or about something newsworthy that dragged your interest. In the second paragraph, also called the motivational paragraph, you shortly introduce yourself followed by your motivation to work for the organization in question. Let the reader know why their organization appeals to you and what triggered you to apply for the position. Now key here is to personalize your letter and show the reader that you did your research. In the third paragraph, you need to focus on the qualifications related to the job requirements. Now this paragraph should not restate your resume, but instead focus on notable contributions and achievements. So mention what you achieved in numbers, percentages, or refer to projects on, for example, GitHub. Key here is to convince the reader that you actually obtained the necessary skills for the job role. In the last paragraph, you briefly summarize the core message. Capture the essence of your cover letter and express your interest to further discuss your potential contribution to the organization. It is a subtle way to initiate an interview without directly asking for it. After that, you include your phone number and email address and thank the reader for their time and consideration. At last, you close the letter in a compelling way. Use a proper salutation like kind regards or best regards, followed by your name and surname. Okay, so we touched upon the do's and don'ts for writing a cover letter, and actually made an example letter of around 300 words and 4 paragraphs. If you want to see all cover letter examples of my YouTube channel in text format, then visit the link in the description. Now that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if this video was helpful, please leave a like or subscribe for more related content. 
And if you need more inspiration for writing any of the cover letter paragraphs, then check out my other videos. Other than that, thanks again for watching and until next time.